help Ross. Um, that's a defeat again at home. It's something that you know we've, we've talked about and we've wanted to improve the home record, but ultimately we have failed there tonight. Yeah, I mean, but they've got one of the best away records in the league, and that was always going to be a, um, be a tough game. I think um, it was a tough game there. They're very well organised. They're so hard to play against. They, they manage their transitions very well by by putting it in behind early, and, and it might not look great because a lot of the time they just run through the keeper. But when it does work, and when they do get on the front foot, or when we mess it up, we get caught, and we got caught a couple of times. And the goal came from us overplaying centrally, and we made a mistake five ten minutes before that by overplaying centrally. And um, hopefully, like from my body language on the side, you can see that we don't practice that, and we don't plan to do that. And that's people going off um, that's people making mistakes just because maybe they're a little bit young and, and a little bit naive and uh, so we've been punished tonight. Ultimately it was the task was made a bit harder by the you know the absence of Tyler Cordner and Ryan Glover. Is that a case of you know they've played every game this season, haven't they? And and they're just they, this run has kind of hit them hard and they're a bit tired, is that what it is? Yeah, we've just done nine games in twenty three days, which is ridiculous. Um and at this level with a squad of fifteen, sixteen and sometimes thirteen, like I only made two subs again tonight and the, the size of the squad here is is, is is tiny and compared to others and um, we've, we've played a lot of games and, and Tyler had a tight hamstring and nothing serious, nothing major, um, just uh, something that will be, um, what's the word I'm looking for, so he'll be back, he'll be back soon enough. Um, Ryan again, had, he's had a sore ankle for a few weeks and a few games and just got to the point where it needed a rest and, and we look tired tonight, not tired and I thought we'd, we, we'll always run, we'll always work and we'll always dig in and we did that really well tonight. However, we looked a little bit tired mentally and a little bit drained, but listen, you're going to get that at the end of the day. Like, it's been a long, been a really long month. Um, we've done nine games in a month, like I said, and yeah, it's maybe caught up with us a little bit tonight. But on the other side of that, it's disappointing not to get a point at least. Um, I don't think we quite got tight enough for the goal, and like I said, we got caught in transition. But story of story of my time being in here. Um, one of those on the, on the topic of fitness, you know, a, a positive to take is seeing Josh McCoy back on the pitch, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, Josh obviously is a. Uh, experienced midfielder here and, and he's got 15 minutes tonight and he'll, get, he'll like to get more minutes on Saturday so yeah it was really good to see him back um, probably not, 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 not the, the sort of welcome back that he wanted but like I said it's 15 minutes and it's good for him to get in the legs and obviously see him out there running as well now so yeah it's really really positive I think yeah like I said always disappointed to lose and uh, never 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 nice to lose at home and I'm, I'm big on that we've got to turn this home form for whatever reason um, and it didn't, didn't sort of quite fall fall for us tonight. I didn't think the officiating was great by the way. Um, I don't want to dig him out but I don't think the fish for both sides I don't think it was great. Obviously we saw parts in central defence, is his versatility something something that really is, is great alongside his leadership? Yeah I mean he had to, I mean ultimately he had to do it tonight I mean um, we, we end up falling at this back three a lot because of how teams play and and how we set ourselves up, so so we have this, um, we have to have versatile players. Um, so part slipped in the left side centre back, which isn't ideal, and I'm sure he wasn't, I'm sure he wasn't delighted to, to learn that he was going to play there. But like he's a pro, he's a top pro, he's one, he's our leader and our captain, and he did a fantastic job. I thought, I thought they all, I thought, like if we're going to be honest, I thought they were, I'm proud of them, and they'll always dig in, and they'll always show the care, and they did show the care tonight, just making silly little mistakes. We're a young side, and. At times, it looked like men against boys tonight, and that is what it is with the young side. And there'll be times when, when, when we can give sides a run around, and like I said, a little bit of rest and a little bit of fresh legs will do us the world of good, and hopefully get maybe one or two extra bodies in in the next seven days, which will give us a real big opportunity to push on. But like, like, like we've said and like we've talked about, we're, we're disappointed tonight, and they, they, they're celebrating like they've, they've, they've got really three points, which a good three points which shows you how far we've come right I mean we can't make it easy for teams to come here it certainly wasn't easy for them to come here tonight um, but it's less than it's disappointing to lose cheers Russell. cheers Sam click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe are you in with a shot look below for more information